Web 3.0 is a term that has been around for a few years, but it is still a mystery for most people. In this video, I'm going to introduce a functional Web 3.0 project to you that has great utility right now. That project is Oxen Network. This video is brought to you by privacyproshop.com, where you can buy truly anonymous LokiNet VPN service and pay with Monero, Bitcoin, or several other cryptos and credit cards, and you can purchase anonymously. Before I tell you more about Oxen Network, I'll briefly recap what Web 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 are in my estimation. Web 1.0 was the state of the internet from about 1995 to somewhere around 2004, 5, or 6. That's where most of the web content was static with pictures and possibly some postage stamp sized video. Everything was decentralized because it was before the days of mass commercialization of the internet. Most people remember Web 1.0 from the services like AOL, Yahoo, and Netscape. Web 2.0 came about somewhere around 2004 to 2005 and is what we are living right now, where giant companies like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Twitter, and others have centralized the control of the internet and we end up being the pawns in their business. We post messages, pictures, and videos on the various big tech platforms where that same content we produce is used to sell our eyeballs to the highest bidder. This arrangement provides incredible profits for big tech at the expense of our privacy. You and I as the users of Web 2.0 are the product big tech sells. A lot of people, myself included, find this distasteful. Web 3.0 is supposed to decentralize the internet by moving control away from the systems controlled by big tech to many decentralized networks owned by the participants of the networks instead of massive corporations. Blockchains and cryptocurrencies are at the center of Web 3.0. Just like Web 2.0 is driven by the profits to the big tech companies Web 3.0 needs to be profitable for its participants. Web 3.0's native money are the various cryptocurrencies, which are far better suited for internet payments, as they don't need trusted intermediaries, in other words, the banks. Users of Web 3.0 transact with each other directly in a manner similar to cash. Users gain freedom, protect human rights, and privacy from big tech, the banking system, and oppressive governments by using decentralized applications, sites, and marketplaces on Web 3.0. Because of the use of cryptocurrencies, Web 3.0 strikes at the heart of the current technology, financial, and even political establishment. Therefore, Web 3.0 has and will continue to receive significant opposition from the established players. Berkshire Hathaway's Charlie Munger is particularly vocal against cryptos. It's stupid because it's very likely to go to zero. And same place, it's evil because it undermines the Federal Reserve System and the national currency system, which we desperately need to maintain its integrity and government control and so on. And third, it makes us look foolish compared to the communist leader in China. He was smart enough to ban Bitcoin in China. Because of this hostility toward Web 3.0 from big business, the banking system, regulators, and politicians, Web 3.0's development will likely proceed less visibly than some expected. However, Web 3.0 is here and it is unstoppable. Last year, the Wall Street Journal made a video about Web 3.0 and had this to say. Theoretically, 
users would be able to exchange money and information on the web without the need for a middleman, like a bank or a tech company. In this vision for a Web3 world, people would have more control over their data and be able to sell it if they choose. And it would all be operated on a decentralized distributed ledger technology. The most common version of this is known as the blockchain. But how exactly would Web3 remain operational if it's not controlled by a central corporation or entity? Theoretically, people would be given virtual tokens or cryptocurrencies to incentivize them to participate in the operation of Web3. The Wall Street Journal just described the auction network. Operators of the network are incentivized by a cryptocurrency, Oxen, to provide computing power and bandwidth. Today, Oxen Network has about 1,800 service nodes that provide the decentralized, onion routed architecture of both the session private messenger and LokiNet, which is an anonymity layer on top of internet, and validate transactions on the Oxen blockchain. Oxen is a privacy currency that has been developed from Monero, which is the largest anonymous cryptocurrency. Each properly staked service node earns rewards in Oxen cryptocurrency for the services they provide when they meet predefined conditions of reliability. Oxen Network operates in a trustless, anonymous manner. You can participate on the network by purchasing Oxen cryptocurrency and staking it in a service node that you or someone else operates. You don't need permission from anyone and you don't even need to know who the operator of the service node is. Because Oxen Network includes a marketplace where one can choose from the available service node operators. As long as the staking node meets predefined conditions, it is accepted as a part of the network. Oxen Network monitors the performance of each service node, and as long as they continue to meet the rules, they will continue to earn rewards. Oxen Blockchain keeps track of the service node rewards, service node staking contributions, registrations, decommissions, recommissions, IP address changes, stake unlocks, and deregistrations. Oxen Blockchain also includes the Oxen Naming System, or ONS, which allows the purchase of .loki domain names, permanent usernames on the session private messenger, and wallet names for use with the Oxen cryptocurrency. At privacyproshop.com, you can purchase LokiNet VPN, LokiNet ONS domain names, and session ONS usernames with credit cards or cryptocurrencies. If you pay with crypto, you can be anonymous. ONS is in many ways comparable to the Internet Domain Name System, or DNS, that many people are familiar with. But rather than depending on the various registrars and centralized servers, ONS is a part of the Oxen blockchain that is distributed and decentralized across all the 1800 service nodes. One application running on the Oxen network is the Session Private Messenger, which is an anonymous, private, and encrypted messaging system that is currently used by hundreds of thousands of users worldwide. Anyone can set up an anonymous website on LokiNet, get a computer, load LokiNet on it, publish your website, and those who visit your site won't know who you are and you, as the operator of the site, won't know where your visitors are coming from because LokiNet's onion routing anonymizes connections, so both the publishers and the visitors to the sites stay anonymous. Add anonymous payments with Oxen or other cryptocurrencies such as Monero, and you have the makings for anonymous, decentralized, trustless, and permissionless commerce. That sounds like a textbook description of the free market. Unlike most other Web 3.0 projects that are only pseudonymous, Oxen Network provides full anonymity. First, Oxen blockchain is fully obfuscated, 
So nobody can snoop on how you spend your money or make your investments. Session Messenger is encrypted, anonymous, and onion routed. So you can communicate anonymously and be free of surveillance. Lokinet enables publishing and viewing content anonymously, as well as provides access to the current Web 2.0 resources with anonymity. Lokinet also enables anonymous commerce that has encryption on the protocol level for better security. So, what are you waiting for? Come join me and thousands of other people on the Oxen Network. Start by using the Session Messenger, Lokinet, and maybe even invest some of your hard-earned cash in Oxen and start earning staking rewards. That covers it. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by PrivacyProShop.com where you can buy truly anonymous Lokinet VPN service and pay with Monero, Bitcoin, or several other cryptos.